praise expresses admiration, appreciation, and thanks to God. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. Psalm 107 verse 2. When looking at overflowing blessings, David wrote in Psalm 23 verse 5, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. So today we want to look at the impact, the importance of unusual praise. Unusual praise. In Acts chapter 16, Paul and Silas were thrown into jail. In verse 25, at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. You know, praise is adoration of God. Praise expresses admiration, appreciation, and thanks to God. In Acts 16, verse 26, suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prisons were shaking, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains you know, were loosed. Also, we also read the narrative in 2 Chronicles 20, when three kings, you know, went against uh, uh, Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat approached God, and God said in verse 20 that he should, he should put the choir before the army. In verse 20, verse 22, 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 22. Now when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab and Montseir, who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. In verse 24 and 25, So when Judah came to a place overlooking the wilderness, they looked towards the multitude, and there were dead, dead bodies falling on the earth. No one had escaped. When Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away their spoil, they found among them an abundance of valuables on the dead bodies and precious jewelry, which they spread or stripped off for themselves more than they could carry away. And they were there three days gathering the spoil because there was so much. You see, praise, unusual praise, uncommon praise, unprecedented praise, you know, the highest praise to our God. Let's say a blessing together in Psalm 149, 6 to 9. Let the high praises of God be in, the, in your mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance on the nations and punishments on the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute on them the written judgment. This honor, have all the saints, have all this honor as a saint of God, as I offer praise to God. Thank you.